everyone, in my last video, I showed you how to make veggie burgers from your leftover veggies after you make veggie broth. Um, and then it dawned on me after I was done with that, that I should make no meat meatballs. You know, that would be a really great thing to do with that leftover dough. So um, anyway, I am doing that and I think it's gonna turn out really, really well. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here are my little meatballs. Um, there's a little bit left. And what I did basically to this dough is, it's the same as my batch that I showed you in my last video, but I added more quick oats so that that way it would be, um, I could actually form them into balls and they would stay, they wouldn't flatten out, they wouldn't be so loose. But I also, before I did that, before I made them into balls, I added a ton of garlic powder and a bunch of Italian seasoning and if you're asking yourselves well what kind of Italian seasoning good question it's the kind that I buy in the store where the bottle says Italian seasoning <laughs> just a little bit lazy on that one I guess here's what I'm talking about it literally says Italian seasoning and oh sorry the ingredients are basil, rosemary, marjoram, sage, thyme, oregano. So if you want to build something like that yourself, go for it. But for me, nah, I don't think so. So I'm literally just going to go ahead and stick them right in here. Just have to be careful because the air fryer, as I'm, I've been using it, it's really, really bloody hot. So maybe not the best idea to be filming while I'm doing this. Um, I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done. So they're all loaded. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this in here. Oh, move my spatula out of the way. All right, I push the on button. I put it on a potato setting. I push on again and there you have it. We'll see you in 12 minutes. We're getting so close. Oh, yay! If you want to know which air fryer I use, I um, I put this in my last video, but I'll just do it here again real quick. Um, here it is, Cook's Essentials. I got it off of QVC. I have never ordered anything else on QVC ever in my life. So despite the fact that that makes me feel like an old lady, it was a really good deal. I think it was like $100. I cannot recommend this little gadget enough. And I got, I say little gadget, I got the big one. It's it's awesome. Anyway, let's go ahead and see how those no meat meatballs turned out. All right, they look pretty freaking good. Um, I wish we had better lighting in my kitchen, but we don't. So you can see they look crispy. Um, and Oh, wow. Yeah, they're a little bit hot. But um, yeah, they're definitely crispy. Again, completely oil-free. One thing I neglected to mention when I was talking to you about the spices that I put into my dough, I forgot to tell you that I did add salt. Now, normally I do not put additional salt in my stuff, or if I do, it's very little. I put in um, a little more than I would normally do, and that's because whereas veggie burgers, I didn't add any salt whatsoever because they they don't stand alone, right? You add a bunch of crap to your veggie burgers, you put them maybe in some bread, or even if you do um, breadless, you still add... Know, mustard or ketchup or you know whatever it is that you do but for meatballs those things really tend to stand alone or if they're part of your pasta you you eat a whole bunch of them by themselves so I wanted to have them to have a little more flavor so I did add a little bit of salt and I just want to let you know about that full disclosure and I'm going to go ahead and take all of these out of the basket and I will taste them and let you know what I think all right here goes nothing um, I'm afraid it might be a little bit too hot so Oh, it's pretty freaking good. This is great, y'all. I am a terrible cook, and I'm actually making good stuff. <laughs> so I'm amazed. If I can do this, I know you can do it. I just, I know it. This is really good. I'm happy. So, anyway, there's how to make your meatless meatballs. And I hope you enjoyed this. Please give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate seeing those thumbs ups. <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Leave a comment.
below and I will um, get back to you if I know the answer to any questions you might ask. All right, take care y'all. Ciao.